Guys, welcome! It is finally, finally happening. I showed you guys this ages ago in a Pokemon Go vlog, and ever since you guys have been begging me to eventually unbox them. And today, we have ready, fresh, to open a full, I don't even know how many cards are in here, probably hundreds of Pokemon Evolution cards to open up to you guys. Now these cards are really special because they are the original Pokemon cards reprinted, looking beautiful, and based just a load of nostalgia for people like me that collected the Pokemon cards when they very first came out. Now just to prove I'm not lying about this, my mum actually texted me a picture of me holding up some of the very first Pokemon cards I ever got and you can see them in my hands. I actually had a muck, who I still do not have in Pokemon Go. But literally, those cards I was holding all the way back in 2001, 15 years ago, so about seven or eight years old, we are going to be opening right now. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, well, I don't want the old cards. I want new cards. So the great thing is, within these sets, are not only the reprinted, awesome, original Pokemon cards, but there are also brand new Mega cards, EX cards, and cards that have actually been improved from the originals. Let me show you. So this right here, this was the OG, the original, the God Charizard. If you had a hollow Charizard card, you were the king of the playground. As you can see, it's got 120 HP. However, in the reprint, the ones that we're opening, it's been improved a little bit. It's got a little bit more HP. It has a 200 power attack. So some of those great cards are actually better in these sets. Now if you guys had any of these OG cards, tweet me a picture. I had the Blastoise, I had the Charizard, don't think I had the Venusaur. I had a lot of these original cards, but they were amazing. And one of the cards that actually really caught my attention that you guys tweeted me, and it's one of the reasons I'm really excited to open these up, is obviously the new cards I talked about as well. Look at this Dragonite. This Dragonite EX card is one of the possible cards we could pull out. If you ever look at the packaging, you can see there's Mega Charizard on there, there's Mega Venusaur on there, there's Raichu on there. All of these guys could come from these cards. So you can see the whole Pokemon squad behind us. We've got Dragonite himself, we've got Arcanine, we've got all the starters. We're just missing one Pokemon. So can we please give a warm welcome to, bam, the big guy himself, Pikachu, with a Star Wars lightsaber. It's just become a part of him, really. They just, they come together now. So all of us are ready to open up these cards. If you're excited, give it a huge, huge thumbs up and let's do this. So guys. Let's rip into this packet and get all of them open. Now, obviously, we're not going to be opening all of them today. As I said, I think there are literally hundreds and hundreds of cards in here. It will take a while. Maybe a live stream would be possible, but it would take a long time. But we are certainly going to open loads and, fingers crossed, get awesome cards. I can't quite believe how many cards we have here. I'm going to go for a Blastoise booster pack to kick it off. So, guys, our very first pack. Kicking off with the original Porygon. Honestly, such a weird Pokemon for the original 151 list. He's just, like, so robotic, so unlike all the other creatures, and still very rare to this day, even in Pokemon Go. <gasps> oh, nice. We've got ourselves a Nidorino with 90 HP. Always such a mean Pokemon. I always loved the Nidoran, Nidorino, and Nido King evolution line. So he looks utterly fantastic. And yes, Arcanine, my friend, we have got Growlithe already. Growlithe and Arcanine are two of ones that I really want to pull. I think the OG cards, like the red outer glow, looks amazing. And it's such a cool character. Ghastly from obviously the Gengar Evolution line. Classic, classic artwork there. Hiding in the corner and being the ghosty character he is. Ooh, now Charmander. So this, my friends, was the first ever Pokemon card I got. When I was at school and Pokemon was first buzzing, I was a little bit out of the loop. I didn't have a Game Boy, didn't have any of the cards. A friend gave me the Charmander card. I took it home, kept it with me every single day as I collected more and more cards until I have the thousands of cards I now collected. So this one, it means a lot to me, man. So we've got Charmander, Rattata, the original, maybe a top centaur Rattata, who knows. A Caterpie, little 40% HP there, not very good at all. Coughing, oh, is that hollow coughing? Reverse hollow coughing. <gasps> no! Are you serious right now? Our first pack, our first freaking Pokemon Evolution pack, and we pull Mewtwo EX. These are the special brand new cards I was talking about. 180 HP, 110 Psy Beam damage. Look how cool he is. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. You could not ask for a better start to the video. This guy is amazing. Hope 
hopefully this luck continues. We're going to put him to one side, add him to our god tier list of Pokemon cards we've pulled so far. That deserves a thumbs up. As I always say, if you guys get any awesome cards, please tweet them at me. I absolutely love it. And if I favorite it, I have seen it. It is me favoriting it. We've got a trainer card. <gasps> Magma, nice. Obviously, still a great Pokemon to this day. The Magma Jinx and Electabuzz Trio. <gasps> I love, this is a rare one, the Surfing Pikachu. As you can see here, he's on his surfboard. I believe this was like one of the original really, really rare promo cards that came out back in the day. This one looking a little bit different, but as you can see, Surfing Pikachu, not the normal Pikachu, despite the fact it doesn't do a lot of damage or have a lot of HP, it is still really rare and really, really cool. So I'm putting him, this little gangster Pikachu, off to the side, and look at that! Just as Magmar gets some limelight, Electabuzz wants it as well as he comes along, fitting in there a little bit less HP than Magmar, but still looking fantastic. Rat attack, Growlithe knows I like him, so he's come back again. But we've already got you, my friend. Oh, Nidoran male. We've now got two out of three evolutions there, which is fantastic. Volpix, I mean, you just, you can't get better than these original cards, can you? Volpix with, again, that awesome outer red glow that also uh, Growlithe has that I really, really like. We've now got ourselves Reverse Hollow. Tangela, which is pretty cool, and finally, oh, Electro, okay, interesting art style there, and a good amount of HP, not quite as rare or as awesome as some YouTube, but still a fantastic card. So apparently Haunter heard that I got the Ghastly, and is here to evolve up, so we've got ourselves a Haunter, just waiting, <gasps> what? We got ourselves Surfing Pikachu, and now we get ourselves Flying Pikachu. This is amazing. These cards are really, really cool. Awesome ones to look at in terms of the Pikachu art style. It knows fly. What is that Pikachu? What are you doing, buddy? Why are you flying around? So Flying Pikachu, adding to, of course, the Surfing Pikachu. We've now got two of them. I'm not sure if there's any more of them in here. I hope there is. That'd be absolutely awesome. So we'll put them to the side. Coughing, we've already got a hollow version of that. Another Ghastly in here as well, that's pretty cool. Magnemite, is he, un I thought it was underwater for a second there, it's just the electric coming out of the top of him. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, Seal, nice, nice, nice. Obviously evolving into Dugon as well. Seal, you can go to one side, buddy. What else? Oh, another Charmander, they must know that I like Charmander as well. We've also got ourselves a Diglett, it's the first time we've got ourselves a Diglett, and then, <gasps> no, what is this? What is this? We have got ourselves a break card Nido King. We have now got Nidoran, Nidorino, but we still need the original Nido King to evolve into the break. Nido King. These cards are so amazing. Rather than being vertical, they're horizontal. 180 HP. Toxic Drill doing 120 damage. We are, what, three, four packs in, and we already have Unreal cards. We've still got one more in this set, by the way. <gasps> oh, what is that? What is... I swear I have the best luck for supply drops, card openings, everything. Arcanine coming in with 130 HP, 150 damage. I want to say this guy's been buffed for his evolution set because dealing 150 damage would have been crazy back then. This is absolutely insane. Two god cards in one pack. These two are definitely going to the side. I, I want more. I want more. I want them now. <laughs> Come on, cards. Magma making a bold entrance there to kick off this pack. Oh, another surfing Pikachu. Love that. We've got Misty as a trainer card. Uh, never really a tough gym leader unless maybe you've gone for the water starting type Squirtle and you've just got nothing to counter her. We've got self Weedle as well. Another Electabuzz and Magma seem to come in pairs, don't they? No Jinx yet. Maybe she'll pop up in a second. Oh, Drowsy. Now, I definitely think Drowsy's been tainted by the fact that it spawns so much in Pokemon Go that I'm no longer its biggest fan. But hey, welcome to the squad. We don't have you yet, so it is all good. Star you must have known that Misty was in this pack, coming along there as well. A really cool art style. A lot of the art styles varied in those original cards. It's always cool to see the more 3D ones or the ones that were just flatter drawings. They all look fantastic. Oh, our very first energy card coming in in the form of Steel type, which wasn't even available in Gen 1, so that's been added in there as well. Oh, what the heck? We've got ourselves Charizard Spirit Link. Now, 
This holds both Charizard, Mega Charizard X and Mega Charizard Y in the art style there. I believe at least one of them is available in these packs, and I don't think I've got any of the Charizard Mega Evolution cards yet, so if we get any of them, it'll be a brand new collection to add, which would be amazing. And finally, only Eraticate. We don't have you yet, it's fine, but hopefully this card right here is a sign of things to come. I, I don't even know what to say about this. Imakunis with a question mark. Dudo, with him in the background running around with a stick. I, I, if you guys understand this better than me, please let me know down below in the comment section. I don't know what's going on, what on earth is going on. I'm putting that to the side because how crazy it is and absolutely hilarious. Got another Haunter in there as well. Oh, we've got Mega Blastoise Spirit Link. I'd love to get Mega Blastoise. We've got some Weedle as well. Voltor, which is fantastic. Obviously, we've got Electrode earlier on as well, so now we can evolve those guys too. Probably like the first time we've seen any of the evolution line for today's opening so far. Another Ghastly. They're just as common, maybe it's a Halloween update for the TCG cards at the moment because they are everywhere. We've got ourselves Magnemite and then, ooh, nice. This is a Reverse Hollow Nidorino. Definitely putting that to one side. <gasps> oh, Beedra, what is up, buddy? Welcome to the squad of 120, can we just say? 120 HP, Swarming Sting and Poison Sting. This guy is awesome. I love that. He's not hollow, not shiny or anything, unfortunately. But both of those cards should be added to our collection deck. That's great. Honestly, I swear down, if we get one of the Mega, or any of the starters, a Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, any of those cards would be absolutely amazing. Dragonite, that guy, where are you? Where are you? You right there. If we get a Dragonite EX card, I'll be buzzing. The classic switch card, allowing you to switch from the rack to Pokemon of your bench Pokemon. Always useful back in the day. I did actually play the Pokemon card training game. There was like a, a, a demo disc or a demo game you could play on the PC. If any of you guys remember that, let me know. I think you started off with like a basic grass deck. It was really fun. Honestly, it was really, really fun. Anyway, coughing. We've also got ourselves a revive. Nice. Diglett popping up. He looks huge. Imagine those, those flowers are like massive oversized tree sized flowers and Diglett's just this massive head coming out of a mountain. That's what I like to imagine it as. Ghastly as well. Caterpie again. What are you doing, buddy? Very common at the moment. Drowsy, he's coming back again. Oh, nice. A brand new, for us at least, Magic Heart. That's very, very cool. And I am really hyped now for the possibility of getting Gyarados as well. Oh, okay. Spirit Link, you can get Pidgeot EX and it does look absolutely amazing. So that's another potential card we could get. And then finally, okay, only a Clefairy. But you know what? It's something new. It's a hollow. You can see me in the reflection of the card there. And the fact that we got Magic Heart gets me hyped for the potential of getting Gyarados. I did have the original Gyarados Hollow. It was amazing. I want it again. Coughing. I'm afraid I'm bored of you already. And you're going to have to go into our discard pile. Well, not really discard. You're going to go into our pile of Pokemon cards that will collect dust. Ooh, Ponyta. I love Ponyta. There's something about those original fire type. The Growlithe, the Arcanine, the Ponyta, the Rapidash. I love them. They're so great and they're still great to this day. Another Nidoran. No normal Nido King. Obviously, you've got the break card, but you need to uh, like almost evolve it or change it from the original Nido King. So we definitely want that guy. Volpix in there as well. Ooh, a dark energy type. Again, not in the original Gen 1. Another magic card. Is this a sign? Often the cards give us little sneak peeks, little signs. So potentially could happen a Metapod. And then finally, oh, nice. Look at this. We've got a Dugon. Unfortunately, not hollow or reverse hollow, but 120 HP, knowing takedown, super deep dive. Another brand new card with a really good amount of HP. That's great. I'm just going through all of the cards we've gotten so far. I still can't believe Mewtwo EX in our first pack. That is just absolutely nuts. And we are we're getting through a lot of cards already. We are smashing through these guys. Starting off, this is our first pack started off with a Porygon. Is that a good thing? Signs to come? I really hope so. Another Pidgeot Spirit Link. I would love the Pidgeot EX card. Metapod, eventually coming again. Thank you, but we've got the hollow version of you, so we don't need you anymore. Another Magikarp. What's that, our third, fourth Magikarp? Fighting energy type. Staryu. Misty is having a lot of fun with her cards to get today. Tangela. Another rat attack, buddy. We're done. With Actually, we can use you for candies, I guess. But apart from that, we are. Yes! Look at this guy right here. The OG reverse hollow. Wait, Pikachu. 
Oh my gosh, I got so confused. I honestly thought that was Raichu because of the coloring on his skin. So for those of you guys who don't know, Pikachu as a character has progressed so much from its original art style all the way to its new art style. As you can see here, he is so chubby, he is so fat, and quite orange in this as well. That's why I thought it was a Raichu for a second, I was so confused. So this guy is so cool, he's become more cuter, a little bit thinner, and a little bit happier compared to the original like mouse counterpart that Pikachu was back in the day. This card is definitely rare. I had this card originally, definitely wasn't hollow, wasn't shiny or anything, it was just a normal card, but if anyone had Pikachu, again, you're the boss of the playground. I'm talking about Raichu, this guy is on the front of this pack, so, fingers crossed, not that the pictures on the front of the pack ever mean anything in these cards, but, maybe, I always like to think that we're getting given subtle signs, potentially, this could be the one, or Gyarados, or a Jagger or anything great. Come on, hit us with it. What have we got now? We've got ourselves a trainer card. Brock coming along. I was going to mention Brock, actually. We've got both Misty and Brock now. Wow, and Professor Oak as well. Okay, all of the uh, the old uh, Pokemon characters coming back to play in this deck, apparently. We've got some Metapod as well. Another Tangler and Vulpix. Unfortunately, obviously, with there only being 151 Pokemon, we're going to get a lot of duplicates here. A Fire Energy. You know what? I will take it to power up the potential Mega Charizard we're going to get. Voltorb. We've got a Self Charmander again. Really? A Hollow Energy card? And Dug Trio. Okay, it's new, and he has a freaking 130 power Earthquake move. But a hollow energy, is, are they taking the pick? Where's Raichu? Where is Raichu right now? Jeez. All right, kicking off this pack with a double energy, colorless energy card. Always useful. Got yourself a super potion as well, just in case you want to uh, heal up your Pokemon. Ooh, nice. This is the first Charmeleon we've got. Charmeleon was also one of the first cards I got. So alongside Charmander and Charmeleon, I was doing a good job for my first card collecting back in the day of what, 2001 was it from that picture? He knows 90 power flamethrower, more damage than he has HP. That's pretty impressive, Charmeleon. I'll give that to you. <gasps> Sandshrew, nice. Welcome, welcome. This is a very good pack so far. Onyx, what is up, buddy? I've always had a soft spot for Onyx, and when Steelix came out in Gen 2, you knew I was gonna love him. He's absolutely awesome. We've got ourselves another Magikarp, Gyarados. Come on, buddy. These Magikarps, we're getting a lot of candies here. They want to evolve into you. I thought for a second it was gonna be another Energy Holo card. I was like, really? That's just disrespectful. Another Star You. Welcome, welcome. <gasps> what? Are you serious right now? We've got ourselves a Reverse Holo Magikarp. This is just trolling now. <gasps> oh! What are you saying? It has happened. Mega Charizard EX with, what is that? 220 HP, Crimson Dive with 300 damage. This Pokemon does 50 damage to itself, but when you're dealing 300 out, you don't care because you are wiping the floor with whatever you are about to hit. This is such an awesome, rare, crazy card. Unfortunately, we don't quite yet have the original Charizard, which would be amazing to evolve from, but this guy is absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. And if it was ever any card that I really wanted from this set, it was gonna be my boy Charizard. And you know what? I do not think there was a better way to finish off this pack opening. That is abs the card is so cool. You know what, guys? Let's do what we always do. Let's round up all of the cards we got today in these packs and take a look at our collection. This is a little card pile we have formed. There is all of the rubbish, and these guys are the god cards. Starting off with a Mewtwo EX that still has just blown me away. A amazing, beautiful, brand new card. Both Surfing Pikachu and Flying Pikachu. Probably the best pack in terms of content with the Arcanine. And then also a break card Nidoking who looks unreal mean. That was just insane. We then, I, I have to put his dude in here so I want an explanation. What the heck is going on with that card? <laughs> we also then got ourselves Beedrill who's got boosted HP I believe. The Nidorino in the form of the reverse holo just because obviously it evolves into the Nidoking. We then got the reverse holo magic carp and I'm putting him in here because um, I want to get myself a Gyarados. We've got Clefairy as well, the Dugon with great amount of HP, the Electrode, the amazing OG Fat Tubby Pikachu, the Dug Trio with 130 damage Earthquake, and then 
the God Evolution line to finish off the video with Charmander, Charmeleon, and Mega Charizard EX with 300 damage. We got ourselves, honestly, an awesome collection of cards today. However, we don't have the original Nidoking. King. We didn't get the original Gyarados. We did not get the original Charizard. And look, I still have so many more cards to open up. If any of you guys play online, feel free to grab some of those codes that are spread out there. But if you guys want to see these cards right here, give the video a huge, huge thumbs up. Unfortunately, Claire was busy for this recording, so it was just us today before we want to get Claire and I involved and hype and all of this nostalgia for these OG Pokemon Evolution cards. Then let me know, and I definitely, definitely want to open up some more. Now, just as a sneak peek, what's that over there? What's that over there? Some special Alola Pokemon cards? That's all I'm going to show you of those cards because those ones are special. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I had so much fun, as always, opening up these cards and hopefully you guys did too. Stay tuned for more cards, more Pokemon Go, more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.